it's time to start harvesting greens. I want to make a stir fry tonight, so we're gonna get a little bit of everything. Here you see this gorgeous Mizuna. I have some Mizuna here and some more Mizuna over there. This is how you're gonna take your leaves off. You're gonna get your snips. You snip your outer leaves. Get rid of that one. I'll show you what I get. So this is just one plant and we have a few leaves. So if you want to do greens, grow a lot of plants at once. That's what it looks like after removing just a few of the outer leaves. You always want to leave your central codex together. Now this one is a little bit new to me. I'm actually surprised to see leaves coming out the side. So we'll keep harvesting and we'll keep letting it grow. Okay, here's all the greens we got out of one bed. And I'll show you what it looks like. So this is all the plants that got a haircut. And there's still a lot of growth to them. Greens love getting haircuts. Especially when you transplant them, usually, if you saw our uh, YouTube video this week, I talked about this in our uh, full video section. But when you transplant them, it's super normal for like the older leaves to kind of fall to the wayside and the new growth to look really good. So we're gonna go through this bed. We have some more Mabuna here. This is uh, some kind of Swiss chard, I don't remember. But we also have these gorgeous Tatsoi and we're just gonna take some leaves from there. We're not gonna harvest the whole head. This Swiss starch is a perfect example of the larger leaves falling to the wayside. These are still edible. They were just, they were grown inside. You can see their leaves are a little bit darker and the new growth coming in is a bit brighter. It's a light change. So we're gonna take all these. We're gonna eat these and leave the rest to grow. When you're harvesting greens, we've never done it before, you wanna cut not all the way down to the plant pretty close and that will shrivel off and give the rest of its energy so the rest of the plant can grow. So we've harvested most of this bed. So that's between two beds of plants and about, oh, 15 plants and we have number 16 here. You can see some holes and we do organic gardening and it's usually a good sign if some bugs are getting your food because it means it's probably good food. So yeah, you can see this cute tot soy after I got a haircut. Very excited. Okay, so just a couple of leaves from 16 plants and we have more than enough for a stir fry for us for two people. And now I'm going to come over here and our Lucullus Swiss chard and I forget what kind of kale this is. They're doing really well, so we're going to take some of the bigger leaves. And the rest is growing in really good. This is our collets and our ruby red Swiss chard. It's doubled in size since I watered. Everything else is doing good. And then we're also going to take some onion tops because I don't feel like chopping onions, so we're putting green onions in there. So that's just a standard size colander. Uh, we just use it to dump out pasta water. But there's so many greens in there. I'm really excited. This is our first green harvest of the year, and it's like the perfect amount for us. So now, these are the red onions that we planted, and we give them some fertilizer, and that's soaked in, and now, we yeah, have a bunch of tops coming up. So we're just gonna take a few of the longer ones and just give them a snip. Like this one. It's not gonna hurt the plant at all. See this one? And I just don't feel like chopping a whole onion, so grab a few of these, add it in to stir fry. And we have onions in uh, many of these other beds, so let me go grab some. Okay, got our onions, and let me give you an update on our lettuce. 
I'm not gonna be harvesting any lettuce right now just because we still have some in the fridge. But the lettuce is doing really good. I don't remember what anything is, but I did let you know in our video on YouTube if you want to find that, but it's looking pretty good. Uh, we usually grow stuff for leaf lettuce, so I mean, just like the greens I showed you, we'll harvest the outer leaves. And these will go for, you know, until it gets super hot, it's probably another month, month and a half. So here's our brassicas. If we were really strapped for greens, we could take some of these leaves. They cook up really good, but I want them to get as much energy going as possible so we can get some good uh, cauliflower, broccoli, kohlrabi. So I'll probably try to avoid picking any leaves off these, but they're, they're really tasty. Also, highly recommend those for stir fries. Oh my goodness, look at that moon. It's gonna be a full moon soon. So just so you know, it's not too late to plant your greens. There's plenty of greens out there that do well in the heat. I'm thinking Swiss chard, just off the top of my head of what we have, Swiss chard and collard greens absolutely do okay in the heat, some mustards do as well. You can get those going right now. Or um, if you wanna do some more like cool weather greens like lettuce, or if you want some kale that's gonna get really sweet when you get a little touch of frost on them, uh, start some starts of those. And I'd say probably seed it around like mid, mid to late July so you can get in the ground and then it'll, it'll grow to the fall. Um, you can also start them by seed in the ground if you get a lot of sunlight, probably in the end of August, but like end of July, beginning of August is pretty safe bet. Now I've never had any mustard greens before except for the ones that are really bitter. I guess I, I would call them traditional mustard greens, but I don't think that's right considering there's so many other kind of mustard greens. So I'm hoping they're good, especially the tatsoi. In my head, I feel like it's gonna take like taste like bok choy when it comes out, but I know it's supposed to be good. Um, so we'll see. So here I have some pine needles, and we also have uh, several raspberry bushes. So I'm harvesting some raspberry leaves before the plants start to flower, and I'm gonna dry these and keep them for tea. Um, these ones for tea and also this for teas have a lot of uh, vitamin C in them. I'll also be totally honest with you. Uh, so we have like a bunch of greens coming in. Our root veggies are doing well. I'm like super happy about those, but I still feel so behind. And if you've seen our videos, you know exactly how much stuff we have prepped and like is ready to go and harden off. I still feel behind. I have to do the squashes, cucumbers. Uh, we wanna do some sunflowers. I found some sunflowers that you can get the seeds out of that are like worth keeping, like they're big enough, but they'll not get super huge. We grew some um, mammoth sunflowers a few years ago and they got like, I think our tallest one was like 13 feet. It was, it was up there, but they were too tall for us to get up there and put like netting around and bags around because we didn't have a ladder at the time and um it just got taken over by like birds stole a lot of them and we would go through them and like a decent amount would have worms in them i don't even know what that is we got enough to like get but like sifting through all that was a mess so if we get some shorter sunflowers they'll be easier for us to manage that's pretty good i am super stoked to have a stir fry and um, if I wasn't cooking all those tonight, but like for some reason I had to harvest them. Uh, if you're in the same situation, take the cut sides and stick them in a glass of water. My favorite thing when we get kale coming in because greens love it to get chopped, like they'll just put out more and more. And when you chop them, make sure you give them water so they can recover. But um, as you're getting stuff that like you know it's kind of going slow or you, you just want to get some greens, you know, you're not cooking them tonight, we'll get them tomorrow. Uh, take the cut sides, put them, put them in one of these, fill it with water, have them so like the leaf part's sticking up. 
and just, just put it in your fridge. If your house is pretty cool, you could keep it on your counter, um, but I'll put it in the fridge. It keeps them pretty crisp. I hope you're cooking up something good tonight, but I am so happy to eat this, so I'm gonna go enjoy it. I hope you have a safe and fun and fulfilling weekend, and I'll show you some other stuff as it comes in. See ya.